Hello, I'm naturalist with the Wood County Park District, Craig Spicer. This is Uno, the Eastern Box Turtle, and it's turtle time. We're here at WW Night Nature Preserve in Perrysburg, which is actually a really great place to find some eastern box turtles. Now, some of the first things that people notice about the eastern box turtles might be their colors. Let's look at the colors just for a quick second and see which ones that we can identify. We've got some yellow, maybe a little bit of brown. Some people might think they see green, but I don't actually see that much. So, yellows, browns, tans, a lot of natural tones. So, where do you think that the box turtle might live? Maybe in a dark forest like this, or maybe in the sunny prairie over to my right shoulder? Well, they actually like to use both. They'll like to use the forest for some things and get out in the sunny prairie for some other things. That's why we have some of these different colors. Now, these colors are very specially selected by the turtle um, through evolution, and they help the turtle to camouflage in those different habitats. Now camouflage just means that using their colors to blend into their surroundings so that they can't be found quite as easily by things that might want to get some of those juicy legs, maybe take a little nibble. Don't want that. Let's see if you can find the turtle in these different environments. Now, what is it on the shell that actually gives the turtle its color? Well, the shell is made of bone, which again, we're not gonna get too far into right now, but over top of that bony shell are these things called scoots. Now, the scoots are actually made of a protein called keratin, same stuff that your fingernail is made of and also your hair. But this keratin is able to hold on to some pigment, some color. Now, those colors, create patterns that, when they cover the entire shell, give the whole shell its color and allow it to be camouflaged, right? To be hidden in its surroundings. These little scoots, they can be shed when they wear off and a new one is already growing underneath, ready to replace it and protect that shell. What's amazing though, is that every box turtle, even though they have the same colors, right? You still see some yellows and browns and stuff on this shell here as we do on Uno's shell. Even though the colors are the same, the pattern is very different. You notice that? Let's look really close. The patterns are different. Now what's amazing about that is that every box turtle's pattern is totally unique to it. It's like a fingerprint. Not one of us has the same fingerprints, just like the box turtles. Even though there may be some very similar patterns, not one box turtle is exactly the same. So, if you're out in nature, you see a box turtle, I would actually recommend that you take a picture of it. And then if you go explore that area frequently and you see another box turtle, go back to that photo. If it looks the same, there's a really good chance that it is that same box turtle. Hey, thanks for watching. If you'd like an extension, an educational activity that goes along with our lesson today on box turtles and camouflage, their shells, colors, and scoots, head to wcparks.org, what's new? And you'll find an activity there.